New tonight, a community remembering a young life taken by cancer. We first told you about Ryan Smeagol in 2015 when he was diagnosed with a rare brain cancer. Smeagol passed away last March. Today, family and friends gathered at his grave to remember his life. Ashlyn Hill reports. He was my birthday present. <laughs> Darlene Aldridge says her 37th birthday was her favorite. That's when her nephew, Ryan Smeagol, was born. She says sharing the same birthday was never a problem. He always loved a good party. Ryan was a people person, and he loved celebrations. He loved parties. He loved it. And so he would want everyone to be involved, and he would want us to be out here crying. Crying, she says, because family and friends are at Elm Lawn Cemetery in Bay City, like celebrating Ryan's life. This, one year after losing his battle with a rare form of brain cancer. We first brought you this story in 2015, one year after Ryan was diagnosed with a DIPG. We just want to keep um, DIPG in the news and hopefully we can get more funding and find a cure because it's 100% uncurable right now. Donna Smeagol is Ryan's mother. She says today's ceremony and balloon release is meant to celebrate their Spartan loving son. Ryan handled his fight with dignity and grace and um, perseverance. Uh, he went to schools and talked to young kids about uh, disabilities and being different. He was um, just an advocate for um, uh, people with cancer uh, and young adults. So 100 balloons were released from 100 people, and it was all in memory of Ryan. The fight was so public um, from the very beginning, and our community has been awesome um, through all of that. And so we just felt it was important for the first year um, to invite kind of everybody out um, because they've just been awesome. In Bay County, Ashland Hill, WNEM, TV5.